hello, hello. Today we are going to learn how to draw, screen grab, and upload an image into Canvas. When you get to a problem in your homework or on a quiz that needs to be drawn, you will see a, a problem like this. You will see this video that I'm actually recording right now, and you will see a couple of links. The first link you will see is the written instructions, and I'm going to show you what this looks like really quickly. When you click on the written instructions paper, or a link, it shows this paper, and this is just a written version of what I'm going to explain to you all right now. So if you ever need to just quickly remind yourself of one or more of the steps, that's a quick way to find that information. Let's go back to where we were. The second link is the Nearpod link, and this is the most important for what we need to do today. What we're going to do for this problem, and this is just an example problem, we are going to draw whiskers on this cat, and then we're going to give this cat a name. In order to do that, we are going to use Nearpod. So the first thing you'll do is simply click on the Nearpod link. This will open up Nearpod. Takes just a second to load. Once Nearpod opens up, you will see your hopefully you'll see your name in this box. If not, simply write it in there and then click join lesson. This will open up the Nearpod itself. You'll see your picture of whatever image we need. In this case, the cat. The instructions are at the top. If they happen to be hidden, you can easily unhide them by clicking on the blue little arrow over here. Again, for our instructions, we need to add whiskers to the cat's face and then give our cat a name. In order to do both of those things, we are going to use our drawing tools here at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to pick the marker first to draw our whiskers. It doesn't matter which color you choose. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it blue, but I do want to change the size of my marker. We need the size of a whisker. Whiskers aren't very fat, so I'm going to make some pretty small whiskers here. Once I've got that tool ready to go, I go ahead and go to my picture and draw my whiskers. Let's see if I can draw some decent whiskers here. Yeah, not great, but we are okay with that, right? Here's some whiskers. Good enough, cute little kitty. Okay, now we need to name this cat, okay? There's two different ways you can write with the Nearpod tools. You can either use the same little marker tool that you are using. I would make it a little bit smaller because it's easier to read when it's smaller. Uh, let's say I name this cat Sam. You can just write it just like that. Now, if writing with that drawing tool is hard for you, then there is another way. So I'm going to use my undo button, and I'm going to take off those three letters. And instead, I'm going to use the text tool. I'm going to again use red, and I'm going to use a good size font here. Now this little circle will allow you to move that text box wherever you want it. I'm going to move it right up here and I'm going to name this cat Sam. And then once I click out of that tool, that box will go away. Okay? So there we go. We are done. We have drawn our picture of our cat and we have named him Sam. We are ready to screen grab our image on your Chromebook. You are going to hold down the shift key and the control key and the screen grab key all at the same time. And when you do that, you will notice that the arrow cursor changed to a crosshairs cursor. That's how you know you did it right. With the crosshairs cursor, you're going to go up to the top left hand side of your image. You're going to click the mouse or the trackpad and drag it down to make a rectangle. You want the entire image inside that rectangle. When you've got that done, you're going to let go of the mouse and it's going to take a picture. There it goes. That picture for a Chromebook will save in your downloads file, so you'll need to remember that to find it later. Okay. Once we're done taking that picture, we are done with Nearpod. We're going to go right back over here, back to our quiz. So here we are back over where we want to go. We slide down and here's our answer box. Instead of a normal written answer in this box, we are going to put a picture as our answer. So we need to use this upload media button right here. Okay, so click on the upload media button and we are going to drag and drop our image into this box. 
Now mine happens to be on the desktop. Here it is. So I'm going to grab that and drag it into the box. You should see that. See that green plus sign? That's a good indication that it's working. And then this box should say, yep, it's already in there, ready to go, check. And then we can import. Takes just a second to import it, and then you will see your image appear in your answer box. Once that's there, you are done, and you can go on to the next problem or submit your quiz wherever you are in that process. So that is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever need help doing this, you can watch the video again, or you can read the written instructions for more information. Good luck and good job.